Hello, good gentlemen of the Code of VR channel. It's good to hear from you guys Fight. again. Today we're going to be playing uh, Super Punch Out because I decided why the fuck not, to be honest. Like, like why not? Like, to be honest, it's just why not? Why shouldn't I? So, this is like post-commentary. So, I'm just going to get started with the, uh, with the video here. So first up, we got this uh, Picochina uh, by Frenchman, uh, 56 years old, 110 pound, record 1 and 99. I don't think he's going to be much of a problem. Let's see. Gabby J. Yay. Mhm. Well, uh, yeah. Well, immediately just punching him in the face. Wait until he gets. Wait until he gets a bit dizzy. Wait until he gets a bit dizzy. And he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Today, guys, we knocked out a Frenchman. Aren't you proud of me, guys? I knocked out a 56-year-old man. I don't think you really should be proud of me. But anyway, on to the next fight. So next up, I'm facing uh, this Canadian guy. Very Canadian indeed, uh, gentlemen. Uh, he's uh, from Canada, weighs 440 pounds, has a record of 17 wins and 12 losses. Possibly decent, I'm not too sure. Looks a bit bald. Got a goofy R head, even, you know. Go goofy R head, I would say. Anyway, time for the fight. So this little, this little goofy little guy, we're going to punch him in the stomach. And we're going to keep punching him in the stomach and then punch him in the face a little bit more. We're going to punch him in the stomach and punch him in the face. And we're going to punch him in the stomach and punch him in the face. I swear it gets more interesting, guys. I swear, please don't click off the video. Uh, Alright, so now he's going to do a little run. And then we uh, beat him up. We hit him. Uh, we hit him again. And he goes night-night, I do believe. I believe he goes night-night. We'll see what happens. Mm, guys, I think we should. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He is not getting up at all. Like at all. Anyway, next fight is a uh, is pretty boring, so I'm probably just gonna put like some random uh, music off of it. And we're back. Hey guys. Welcome back. So this is Bull Bull the champion. Now I actually lose to this guy in the video. Right? And this is where I'm just going to explain why I'm playing this game. I'm quite good at this game. I'm okay at it. But. Right, and here's the but. Right? I am kinda used to using save state to sort of save scum my way through a match. And I never, I never just like save after a move. I always have to restart the match. It's just much quicker. It's just a much quicker way to restart the match. Now, I am going to play this game without the save state. Now, of course, you think, oh, you never played without the save state before. Uh, that means you're gonna lose a lot. Exactly. One, two, I want to wage for you guys. That's, that's the funny part of it, right? Fight. Funny part of it. The funny part. Of it. Right? <clears throat> now you can see that I am using some clever editing tricks on this video here. Just, just like some basic One. edits. This will probably get better as we go through. Fight. But yeah, I'm not gonna be using save states. Now you can see in this video that I get absolutely walloped by this gentleman because I didn't remember his pattern like a dumbass, like the dumbass that I am. You know, so I didn't remember his pattern, I was like, oh fuck, oh well, guess I'm gonna die. Which I kinda did, to be honest, because I wasn't very good. But, 
Three. Of course, after all this, I'm going to take him Five. back on. I'm going to kick his ass, right? Well, this is to show that I, I am I am a mortal. I'm, I am a mortal. I'm not crazily good at this game. I'm not a speedrunner. I never play. I'll never claim to be a speedrunner. I'm just good at the game. I, I just, I'm just good. I'm just good. I enjoy it. Anyway, we get our asses kicked. This is why I said no save states. This is because I'm trying to make myself a little bit better at the game. So then we face Ball Bull again, the mighty Ball Bull. And this time, we stomp his ass. Ball bull. Uh, and this time, I remember, I remember the fighting fight. properly. Right. So, when these guys get a little bit harder, which they will, this is like one of the one of the more hard fights. This is like the first fight in the game where, in my opinion, you could screw up even, that's like the first fight in the game that even if you know what you're doing, you know what you're doing, Properly, you know what's coming out. You can see it. You can see here that I am basically going to hit him in his gut. That is his weak spot. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to do a move called the bull charge. Now, I don't think many people know what the bull charge is, but you probably do. Basically, he runs towards you with his little hop. Big, big uppercut. Large uppercut. Right, so you'll do that, and then we'll see him do the second one, when he gets back up again. That one's faster, it's why I couldn't, react, I couldn't react it. But, I don't usually react to that anyway, so you end up fighting him like that, and you punch him a lot. You punch him a lot, and then he goes, he goes down, he goes down. It wasn't a very elegant win, we could have won easier, but, you know, it's still a win in my right. Now, next time, which will probably be tomorrow, we're going to tackle the major circuit for the first time. We might get stuck on the major circuit for a little bit. There might be fights where I'm going to get stuck on the major circuit. But every single time, I'm going to fight through the major circuit competitors again. You can see there that uh, I am now the big champion. It's a nice time to play. Anyway, that's Coda going. Have a great day, a great morning, a wonderful afternoon, and bye, everyone.